Hi, my name is Kweko and I'm a pharmacist. In this brief video, I'll answer some of the most frequently asked questions about amlodipine and clear up some misconceptions and provide you with reliable information about amlodipine to discuss with your healthcare provider. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only and doesn't replace medical advice from your doctor. So let's start with the basics. What is amlodipine? Well, amlodipine belongs to a group of medications called calcium channel blockers. It is used primarily um, to treat high blood pressure and a form of chest pain called angina. Amlodipine works by relaxing blood vessels throughout the body, making it easier for your heart to pump blood. Now this reduces blood pressure and improves blood flow to the heart muscle. It is typically prescribed in doses ranging from 2.5 milligrams to 10 milligrams once daily. When should I take amlodipine? While amlodipine can be taken any time of the day, consistency is key. Taking it at the same time daily helps maintain steady blood levels. Now, some people may prefer an evening dose since any potential dizziness may be less problematic while they are sleeping. Amlodipine can be taken with or without food, making it convenient for most schedules. What should I do if I miss a dose? Or if you remember within 12 hours, take it immediately. However, if it's closer to your next scheduled dose, skip the missed dose and continue with your regular schedule. Never double up on doses to compensate for a forgotten pill as this can increase your risk of side effects like dizziness and low blood pressure. How quickly does amlodipine work? Well, people often expect immediate results, but amlodipine works gradually. Now, some effects begin within 24 to 48 hours, but the full therapeutic benefit typically takes about one to two weeks of consistent use. Blood pressure measurements may begin showing improvement within days, but the maximum effect develops over time as the medication reaches steady state in your system. Can I stop taking amlodipine when my blood pressure normalizes? This is perhaps the most dangerous misconception. Normalized blood pressure indicates that the medication is working effectively, not that your condition is cured. You know, stopping abruptly can lead to rebound hypertension, a dangerous spike in blood pressure that can be higher than your original readings. It's always important to consult your doctor before making any changes to your medication routine. Is ankle swelling from amlodipine dangerous? Now, this is a phenomenon called peripheral edema, which is the swelling in the ankles. This affects approximately 5 to 10% of patients taking amlodipine. This occurs because the medication dilates arterioles more than veins, creating a pressure imbalance that causes fluid to leak into the surrounding tissues. Now, while uncomfortable, this side effect is not typically dangerous and does not indicate heart or kidney problems. Uh, for many people, the, sm the swelling is mild and often improves over time or with dose adjustments. Does amlodipine cause weight gain? So the peripheral edema from amlodipine can cause temporary weight increase of a few pounds due to fluid retention. However, amlodipine doesn't typically cause actual fat gain or significant long-term weight change. If you notice substantial weight gain while taking amlodipine, definitely discuss with your doctor as it might indicate an unrelated issue. Can I drink alcohol while taking amlodipine? So alcohol can enhance the blood pressure lowering effect of amlodipine, potentially causing dizziness, lightheadedness, or fainting, especially when you first start taking the medication. Now, while moderate consumption may be acceptable for some people, it's essential to discuss your specific situation with your doctor. If you do drink, start with small amounts to see how the combination affects you. Ideally, I would not I would recommend not drinking, but hey, if you have to, just be cautious. Can I take over-the-counter medications with amlodipine? Setting over-the-counter products may interact with amlodipine. NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, may reduce its effectiveness and potentially elevate blood pressure. Decongestants in cold and allergy products can also raise blood pressure. So always inform your pharmacist about your amlodipine prescription before purchasing over-the-counter medications and obviously consult your doctor if you are unsure. Now on your screen is my full review of amlodipine. Uh, take a peek at it. I'm sure you're going to learn a thing or two. Thank you for staying through and as always, stay blessed and catch you on the next video.